In this visit, I'll talk about the complete blood count, a series of blood tests. The complete blood count, the CBC, assesses diseases that affect red blood cells. The red blood cells carry oxygen to all the cells of the body. Anemia is when there are fewer than normal red blood cells. Polycythemia is the problem of more than a normal amount of red blood cells present. The CBC assesses diseases that affect the white blood cells. The white blood cells fight infections in the body. Leukopenia means fewer than normal number of white blood cells. Leukocytosis, an increased white count, means more than the normal amount of white blood cells. Leukocytosis, an increase in the number of white blood cells, can result from infection. Malignancy is where a component of the white blood cells grows without limit. An example is leukemia. And finally, the CBC assesses diseases of the platelets. These tiny blood cells are important in forming blood clots. When there are not enough platelets, called thrombocytopenia, a person can be at risk for bleeding. In thrombocytosis, there are more than the normal amount of platelets, and a person can be at risk for blood clots, such as deep venous thrombosis or pulmonary embolus. The RBC red blood cell count Hemoglobin and hematocrit, if abnormal, tell us whether or not we're dealing with an anemia or a polycythemia. Anemia, again, is when there are not enough red blood cells, and it's the most common disease affecting red blood cells. Polycythemia, too many red blood cells, is much less common. Fatigue, shortness of breath, heart pounding, dizziness, and sweating can all be symptoms of anemia. The MCV, MCH, MCHC, and RDW are measurements of individual red blood cells, and these measurements can go a long way towards determining the cause of an anemia. The next component of the CBC is the platelet count. If the platelet count is too low, if there aren't enough platelets, then a person can be at risk of serious bleeding. This low platelet count is called thrombocytopenia. If the platelet count is too high, if there are too many platelets, then a person can be at risk of abnormal blood clots, such as deep venous thrombosis or pulmonary embolus. Deep venous thrombosis is a blood clot that forms in a vein of the legs. Pulmonary embolism is a blood clot that forms in the blood vessel of a lung. The white blood cell count, the WBC, can be abnormal, either high or low, in different diseases. A high white count is often a sign of infection. The white blood cells are a part of the body's immune system. There are five different kinds of white blood cells. Neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. And each has different functions in the body's fight against disease. Well, that's it for this visit. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.